This is gonna be a long video, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ifaima. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm so excited to meet you. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be filming my Black Friday 2022 haul. Let me just be the first one to admit that I went a little bit OD. I feel like Black Friday was really good this year and I got some really good stuff. And the real tea is that you're not even seeing half of it, okay? 40% of the stuff I ordered has already gone back, okay? So if you want to see everything that I actually didn't end up keeping from Black Friday, then you would want to watch my vlog that's coming out this Sunday. So this Sunday will be all the behind the scenes of everything that ended up being returned. I mean, I got some Paris, Texas boots that got returned, some Jimmy Choo's that got returned. So if you wanna see like all the good stuff that didn't make it to this haul, make sure you subscribe, put on your post notifications so you don't miss out when that video comes out on Sunday. And then I also want to say maybe like another 20% of stuff hasn't even arrived yet. I mean, I decided that I have to film this video now because if I decide to wait for everything that I ordered during Black Friday to be here, I will not be filming this video until February of 2023. And that is not an exaggeration. Like literally February, 2023 is when my last item is due to arrive. So if you're excited about this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week. I would love to have you here if you like the vibe. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it because I have too much to show you, like so much to show you. So let me give you a little bit of a background as to what my strategy was for Black Friday. Now you guys know I like to be an intentional shopper. And what I mean by that is, I constantly have a running list of things that I'm looking to add to my wardrobe, to my home, et cetera, et cetera. And my whole attitude with Black Friday was that I was only going to shop for things that I genuinely want that just so happen to be on sale. I'm not going to be scrolling endlessly, buying things that I don't want. Like this was my opportunity to save money on some more high ticket things that I typically would not want to buy full price. This was my opportunity to pad out my wardrobe with things that I've always wanted, but at a discount. So much so that I actually like had things that were already on my wish list, already in my basket. And I pretty much was just checking those websites throughout the week leading up until Black Friday and even a couple days after just to check if those things had gone on sale. That was my strategy. So let me start off by telling you about the couple of things that I ordered that haven't arrived yet just so I don't forget. <laughs> so the first thing, if you guys are not new to my channel, then you this will not surprise you at all. I finally ordered the Dear Francis Spirit Boots. You guys will know that I've wanted these boots literally since the beginning of the year, actually before then, but I mentioned it for the first time at the beginning of the year. Dear Francis was doing 25% off for Black Friday. So these boots ended up being discounted heavily, okay? I will link everything that I mentioned in this video as usual in the description box. I take a lot of pride in my description box, so check it out if you have any questions about where anything is from. Anything I'm wearing, mention, whatever, it'll be in the description box. So yeah, this was still a really good deal on these. And as a little bit of background, I didn't order these initially. So if you want to know like the story as to how I ended up reordering these boots, then definitely check out the vlog. And then the second thing that hasn't arrived yet are my little fake mini Kelly bags that I got from Lily and Bean. They do this bag. It is called the Mini Hetty, and I've loved this bag. It was literally January 2022, and I remember clearly because I was in Mexico on holiday, <laughs> and I was like, what is this bag? And I ran to the website, and they were 100 pounds then, and I forgot about it. I don't know why, I wasn't really sure. I wanted to think about it. You guys know how I am. And then I remember going back onto the website like halfway through this year and they were 125. And I was like, when did this happen? <laughs> like, why are they so much more expensive now? Especially because I want this bag in multiple colors. Some of the mini heady bags were included in the sale and they went back to their original price of 99 pounds. So I ended up getting the white color, which is a huge score because I've been wanting a white bag in my collection. And I ended up getting the mock croc in black. So I know like dupes are, you know, a little bit controversial. I'm not a replica girl in the sense that I will not wear something that has a logo where they're trying to imitate another brand, but 
I like dupes. I think they're a great way to try out styles. There's nothing on this brand that is pretending to be Hermes or alludes to the fact that they're Hermes whatsoever. It's made out of genuine leather. And for me, I just know that the chances of me ever being offered an Hermes Mini Kelly anytime soon are very, very, very slim. I would never buy one on the resale market. So this is an opportunity for me to try a style that I wouldn't actually want to invest in full price, even if I was like, watch this video if you wanna know why. So yeah, I thought that this, this was a cool way to try the style and they just look really cute. So I'm really excited for them to come. So those are all the things that I'm waiting for. Now we can jump into all the things that I have. So I am just going to grab things in no particular order. Actually, why don't we start off with what I'm wearing? So this is the infamous House of CB cardigan. I think it's called the Celine cardigan. House of CB was doing a 20% off sale off of their entire website. And as soon as they announced that, I already knew what I was going to be getting. I wanted these cardigans literally for two years. I kid you not. Originally when I wanted them, I think they were about 60 pounds each or something. And now they're like 70, 75. And I don't know about you. I just don't think that these cardigans are worth that. The fabric composition isn't great, but at 20% off, now we can have a conversation so i ended up getting them in the medium size and this is the perfect size for me it's slouchy it's comfortable these cardigans i will say are super super cozy and if you're wondering why i'm saying cardigans it's because i got I got it in the black and in the cream color. So I haven't actually taken the tag off of the cream color yet, but this is what the cream one looks like. You know what, I'm just going to do cutaways because showing you like this is not helpful to anybody. But yeah, these cardigans are super, super cozy. They're so easy to wear. I love a good maxi cardigan because they are literally like a glorified house robe. What I will say is that they're very, very delicate. So you have to be really careful with your jewelry snagging onto them, even the way you hang them. You have to be careful that like it's not, you know, tugging on any of the yarn. The way these cardigans have been made, like they're bound to at some point get a pull or a rip. <laughs> so I'm really happy I didn't pay full price for them. So let's move on to Netta Porter. Netta Porter, I actually ended up ordering three things from, but I only kept one. So again, if you want to know about the two things I returned, stay tuned to the vlog. What I ended up keeping was the, I think this is called the Atlanta sleeper set, actually the sleeper Atlanta set. And when I tell you like Nuriana, makes me spend way too much money. <laughs> so I saw Nuri Anna mention this sleeper set literally last summer. So this summer actually, a couple months ago, and I registered, instantly saved to my watch items. And luckily they were included in the 30% off sale that Netta Porter was doing for Black Friday. I ended up getting this set in the large and it fits perfectly. I have to say, I really want to start to invest in more, um, maybe not like full on luxury ready to wear in the coming year, but definitely like better quality ready to wear. Okay, um, Sleeper for me, I think is a good brand to start off with because even at full price, these sets are under 300 pounds, but with a 30% off, even better. And they also do a dress version of this that I just think is really, really pretty. But the dresses didn't come in any colors that I wanted. Like for the dress, I actually think I would just get the white one or the black one or maybe the navy blue, but none of those were included in the sale. Like such good quality. It's so well made. The way they've cut the fabrics and the way the um, ruffles lay on your body. It's so flattering. I think it is a perfect fit for me. I can see myself wearing the shorts separately, the top separately. I really, really love this set and I cannot wait for summer or like just warmer weather to actually wear these. I can just imagine like this set with my Tanarans and my Loewe basket bag and like a hat. Oh, I really need to be on holiday. Now let's move on to Joseph. Okay, this coat, if you end up watching my vlog, you will know that I went back and forth about this coat so many times. Let me tell you the story about this coat. So I definitely knew that I wanted to buy a coat because I really am working to building 
the wardrobe of my dreams and these things take time. So for me, I've decided, okay, I want to invest quality knitwear every year, a, a coat, maybe a, a pair of shoes, like just, you know, staples. So I wanted to get a coat. I think my phone is listening to me. Our phones are listening to all of us. So I got served an ad for this exact coat on Instagram. When I saw it, I just thought, I love this style. It's so pretty. They only had one left in my size and it was 50% off, again, from Joseph. If you know Joseph, you know Joseph is a very like high-end brand. I've ordered things from them before, only ever in the sale, but nothing's ever worked out. But I love the quality of their stuff. Fabric composition, insane. Literally like 75% virgin wool, 50% polyamide, 5% cashmere. The only thing I wasn't sure about was the color. So the color was described as ganache and I kept going back and forth about it. And I thought, okay, ganache to me sounds like a rich brown. As soon as I opened the box, it looked more maroon burgundy and that kind of threw me off. So I went back and forth about this coat. I'm gonna nod about this coat. Literally like asked so many people about this coat. And I ended up deciding that I was going to return it, even though the fit was perfect, the sleeve length was perfect, everything. But I thought I wanted a brown coat. I wanted a, like a, a real neutral, you know? Something told me to just try on this coat with different color palettes in my wardrobe before I decided to send it back. Actually, what was the real kicker was that the coat that I ordered from Zara ended up not working out whatsoever. And that coat just made me think about how well the Joseph one fit. Yeah, so that's what ended up happening. So I decided to try on the coat with all my neutrals in my wardrobe and it worked with every single color palette. It works with gray, it works with blacks, it works with brown. So I'm like, this is a true neutral. It's just a neutral with a spin. So I decided to keep it because I don't have anything this color. I think it's such a beautiful coat. It's so feminine, it's so stunning. And I realize that I'm talking a lot about this coat because I think it might be my favorite thing from this haul. Like I never would have been able to dream that a burgundy slash maroon slash brown coat would be something that I own, but it is so nice. Okay, so from H&M, I ended up getting, I'm really into like Kate, by the way, like I've stumbled down the Kate rabbit hole. Again, I blame Nuriana. And basically um, I've been looking for a lot of Kate dupes because as much as I love those sweaters, they're like over a thousand pounds. I don't know if I can bring myself to spend a thousand pounds on a cardigan. I say this now, it'll most likely be on my 2023 wish list. But yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. So I've been looking for good quality Kate dupes. You guys know H&M loves a good deep. So this top I'm wearing is actually the strapless version. And as you can see, it's really falling down. I probably should have sized down, but this strapless version is in the medium size. And I think this is something that would be really great to wear under a blazer or like a cardigan. Cause in as much as it is cold, sometimes it's very easy to get really sweaty when you're wearing too many layers. So this is the kind of piece I would like to wear on underneath like a blazer or underneath a cardigan if I know maybe I'm going to be driving somewhere, you know what I mean? So I don't need to be too, too warm. And then I got the long sleeve version. This is a very well-known deep for the Kate Maddie top. I will not lie, the fabric in this is not great. It's a little thin, but at the same time, I just think it's a really good way to see if you actually even like a style because the Kate Maddie tops, I think they're like 900 pounds. Obviously you can get all this stuff on sale, even though like none of the Kate stuff that I wanted was included in any sale on any website. But for me, it's a really good way to try out the style to see if I actually even really like it. I'm really excited to have these because I know they're pretty hard to come by. Just set your notifications on H&M because this stuff comes back in stock all the time. So now let's go to my Pretty Lavish order. So Pretty Lavish for me is, I would say, one of my favorite online retailers. I feel like they do really good quality stuff at a really good price point. I've shopped from them so many times before. Unfortunately, like, 90% of what I ordered from them has to go back because the sizes were just not right, but I was able to reorder them, but the new sizes haven't come in. So all the cutaways are from sizes that I'm going to end up returning, but hopefully I will just show you guys what I got anyway. So let's start off with the two dresses that did work out for me. If you guys are not new to my channel, you will absolutely recognize this dress. 
I wore it so much during the summer. This dress was part of Nuri Anna's collection that she did with Pretty Lavish. And I ended up getting it in a smaller size. I think Pretty Lavish is really generous with their sizes. I originally ordered it in a 12 and it always felt too big for me around the bust area. I ended up getting it taken in, but even at that, it just didn't sit properly. So um, I decided to reorder it in a 10 and the 10 fits way better. And for whatever reason, the black and the white were both included in the sale. And it was really, really well discounted. So I decided to pick both up and I'm very happy with that. I feel like I've forgotten how to do hauls. I haven't done a haul in such a long time on my channel, but anyway. Okay, so this is a skirt that I also have had for ages from Pretty Lavish. It is called their Blythe or Blith slit knit skirt. I have it in the cream. I ended up picking it up in the black during the Black Friday sale. I also ended up picking up the matching tops to these skirts, because yes, they are cords. Unfortunately, when <laughs> the um, cream top came, I was hoping it would just match with my skirt, but of course I didn't think of the fact that I've been wearing that skirt for pretty much nine months out of the year and it's not the exact same shade. So I ended up having to reorder another skirt and a top so that I could wear them both together. The tops were a little big as you can see. So I've also ended up reordering them in a small, I think I ordered them in a medium originally. And it also made me think that the skirts might be a little big. So I ended up ordering the small size just to see how they fit. Um, I don't know if, um, if my new order will come before this video goes out. So I can't even tell you what size I ended up buying but I will let you know what the sizes of everything that I'm actually showing during the try-ons are so at least you can kind of decide what size to get for yourself but I do think that Pretty Lavish is really generous with their sizing so if you would typically get you know like a 10 in another shop maybe try sizing down because a lot of their clothes have a lot of stretch so I would say definitely suggest that with Pretty Lavish and of course, if it doesn't have stretch, that doesn't apply. Another thing I really like about Pretty Lavish is that for the most part, a lot of their fabric compositions are really good. I did end up, however, finding some that I didn't like too, too much. So this was one dress I got that is definitely going back, but I'll show it to you anyway. So this dress, actually, maybe I should just show you the try on bit but this dress is called the jada knit roll in beige and i got it in a medium i got it in the short version in ivory and the long version in beige why i didn't like these dresses was, was the position of the belt loop so for me the position of the belt loop was a little low so it didn't sit at my true waist and even if i did decide not to wear the belt that it comes with i just felt that it sat too low and that the loops would obviously be sticking out so both of them are going back and they're also not the same sort of fabric is like the Blythe cohorts. Like this didn't feel like heavy duty, thick fabric to me. And even though they're very affordable and I would probably get so much wear out of these, I've kind of decided that it makes more sense to invest in a jumper dress that would be better quality because these are the sorts of things that I would pull out every single year. So I am on the lookout most likely next year now <laughs> because girl, Ain't no more shopping for me, she says. The one dress I did really like though was this one. I have actually reordered this in another color as well. This is the Shani cutout knit dress. I tried it on here in a medium. I reordered it in the cream in small because this was a little too big around the neckline specifically. So this dress I just think is so nice. It's so sexy. It is literally like the perfect date night or evening dress to wear around this time of year where it's obviously cold so you need to be warm but you still want to look nice and i can really see this looking so nice with like a really nice pair of long boots and speaking of long boots every single pair of long boots i bought during the black friday sale did not work out for me okay and if you want to like feel my pain check out my vlog because i'm still mourning that's everything 
I have to say I don't feel so bad now because I was starting to feel really like crazy before like why did you get so much stuff but I think because so much of what I got ended up going back and it's actually like I haven't kept a lot which is great for me and my bank account I'm so happy now that I've showed you everything I could actually start to wear stuff because I was waiting for this vlog definitely let me know what you were able to score during the Black Friday sale let me know like everything you got let me know what you're most excited about um, definitely like seriously let me know because I, I I'm obsessed with hearing what people were able to get during Black Friday I was able to get a couple things from my home some technology bits like other things that are obviously not in going to be included in a fashion haul but if you do want to know a bit more about like some other things that I was able to get watch out for the vlogs because I'm sharing a lot of stuff like I'm doing weekly vlogs so there's a lot of stuff in there that you might find interesting as well so that's it for me I'm going to leave this here if you enjoyed it please don't forget to to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you'd like the vibe leave a comment down below and i will see you on my next upload stay blessed stay safe and take care bye